So how do you stay focused on your goals and your dreams and moving towards those when things just seem to be getting in your way and getting you down and you're getting discouraged and frustrated and it feels like, what's the point of even trying? I've been thinking about this question and this issue a lot for the last couple of weeks because that's kind of been where I'm at as I've been trying to achieve my goals and accomplish and I look at what I'm doing and where I'm at and I'm getting really frustrated and discouraged with, with the things that are happening and the things that aren't happening and it's just caused me to get really down in kind of a deep funk and feel like, gosh, what's the point of even trying? How, how can I even move forward and, and help other people with this, let alone myself if I can't figure this out? And so it's been something that's been on my mind and I've persisted at trying to figure this out. Well, last night I was, uh, one of the things that has been really frustrating is, you know, I've, I've got five kids and, and my relationship with a few of them just isn't going in the right direction. It's been really frustrating. And one of my sons, I took him out to eat last night. I felt like, gosh, we need to really just get together and, and reconnect and I need to figure out how to reestablish and, and start improving our relationship. And so we went out to eat and we sat down and we were talking about his goals and his dreams. And he talks about how he wants to be a competitive soccer player and be really good at that. And so we talked about that a little bit. And this morning I, I woke up, I was half awake early in the morning and thinking about him and thinking about this goal of playing soccer and how could I help him and what could I teach him and what could I share with him. And these ideas start coming to my mind is that I would teach him and suddenly it hit me as like, oh my gosh, you need to listen to yourself. You need to quit trying to worry about how, what you can teach him and start doing this yourself because this is what's causing you the problem. And it kind of snapped me wide awake and I had to reach over and grab my pen and paper and start writing a few things down so I wouldn't miss them so I could start actually doing them. And I wanted to share a couple of ideas with you of two things, two pitfalls that you need to avoid, that you need to watch out for because they will absolutely sabotage your goals and your dreams and your emotions and will keep you from moving forward because this is what's been happening to me for the last few weeks and I suddenly realized, I'm like, okay, I got to fix that. I've got to start start shifting my focus. The two things are one is you get you think you're focused on your goals and your dreams, but what you really start doing is you subtly shift from your goals and your dreams to seeing your life as it currently is and you start seeing the gap between what you want and where you currently are. And that gap just becomes bigger and frustrating and you're like, gosh, it's so big, I, I can't figure out how to cross this, I can't figure out how to move forward, and you get stuck in that. And so you're, you think you're focused on your goals because you're thinking about your goals all the time and every day, but what you're really thinking about is the gap between your goals and where you currently are. And that can be really frustrating and that can sabotage you in a big hurly, hurry. The second thing is, as you face the resistance and the struggle that all of us face as we try to achieve our goals. Nothing ever happens easily or for free. It always comes with a cost and a struggle and things happen and people happen and things get in the way and we get frustrated and discouraged by that and we start to think, well, gosh, if, if only that hadn't happened, or if only this person would do this, or if this person would stop doing that, or if I knew how to do this, or if someone could help me do that, or if this situation wasn't in, wasn't reality, then I could achieve my goal. I can see it, but I can't get there because of this. And that's shifting us into blaming. And when we shift into blame, putting our power somewhere else, that takes away our power to do anything. And our focus is on what's stopping us, not on, well, what can I control? And that's how you solve that problem is, what can I, con con what can I control? Because most of these things that we start blaming are out of our control, how someone else acts, how someone else responds, what's not happening for us, what the government's doing, whatever the situation is, we start blaming that instead of focusing on what we can control. And there is always something we can control that will make a difference and move us forward. So avoid those two pitfalls, getting focused on the gap and getting focused on what's stopping you and start focusing on what's the next step I can take towards my goal, regardless of the gap, and what can I control? What's within my control and do it, go take action on it.